There are three carbs you should avoid. Hey guys, it's Rio. Today I'm going to talk about carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is one of the macronutrients and it is considered to be the main energy source. It is an important energy source, but when consumed more than enough, it is stored as fat. And continuous overconsumption of carbs, especially that kind of carbs, is related to obesity, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer, cardiovascular disease, and many more. Carbs have been a big topic in a lot of health-related articles and researches for a long time. Even though ketogenic low-carb diet is supported by a lot of physicians and doctors, it is still arguable. It is arguable mostly because some people go too far and too extreme about cutting off carbs. I personally don't think you should avoid carbs completely. I don't think you should avoid any food items completely from your diet unless you're allergic to that food. I don't think any extreme diet is good for us, like completely cutting off this, completely cutting off that, or eating one particular food item too much. What's important as far as eating healthy, I believe, is moderation. I think we should eat as many food items as possible in order to get a lot of different kinds of nutrients from each and every food item. So, being that said, there are bad carbs you should avoid and good carbs you should get. Basically, there are three carbs you should avoid and they are white rice, white flour, and most importantly, sugar. And when I say avoid, I mean limit the consumption of these items. I just want to make sure you all understand that before we get to the details. So these three carbs are easily convertible energy source, but there are no other nutritional benefits and they spike the blood sugar level. Another reason why we want to avoid these three carbs is glycation, which accelerates aging inside and outside. As you all know, oxidizing is another aging factor, but you can fight that or slow it down by taking antioxidant food like berries, veggies, uh, teas, and uh, cacao, and things like that. However, there's no such food item to fight glycation. The only solution for this is to minimize unnecessary extra carb intakes, especially those non-nutritious white carbs, especially sugar. It takes longer time to break down complex carbs, aka good carbs, so they don't raise the blood sugar level as much as white carbs. And some people avoid uh, fruits and some veggies like potatoes and corns. Now, fruits contain fructose and potatoes and corns are high on the glycemic index, but these veggies and fruits and some other uh, uh, good carbs like whole grains and legumes, they are packed with the other important nutrients that we need like fibers, uh, minerals, and vitamins and phytonutrients. So don't be afraid to eat those good carbs because we don't want to miss good health benefits from them. They are very important to us. If you look around, you should realize how much you are depending on one white carbs like rice, pasta, bread, noodles, but they are all replaceable by brown carbs like brown rice, mixed grain rice, quinoa, whole wheat bread, whole wheat pasta, rye, buckwheat, things like that. Now when you get whole wheat items though, sometimes they can be highly processed. So I recommend getting organic ones because organic packaged items are generally less processed compared to non-organic ones. In general, you should consume more whole foods and minimize packaged foods. But whenever you buy packaged foods, you should pick the ones that are least processed with minimum and simple ingredients. If you see a bunch of ingredients that you don't even know, just don't. That's one thing you should pay attention to. So things like cupcakes, pastries, donuts, candies, soft drinks, anything sugary, just avoid them all for sure. Eat more whole foods and replace white carbs with brown carbs. Whenever restrictions are too much and too extreme, it becomes such a hassle and stress so it won't last long. So take it in a more easy and relaxed way so you can enjoy it more. One less advice to eat healthy is to chew really well before you swallow. That helps stabilize the blood sugar level. So don't just eat real fast but um, chew really well and slow down a little bit when you eat. Okay, that's all for today. Um, I hope this helped you guys a little bit maybe. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and please check out my other videos too. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time.